20 years long. We just went into Scott's restaurant in Mayfair. Obviously, my friend, for personal reasons, don't want to put his boat race on camera. And you will see that in the pictures that we had taken in Scott's Mayfair, he's put a book across his face because he wants to remain anonymous, which is his fucking right to do so for private reasons. And that's the way some people are. I'm not going to mention his name. I don't need to, but I've known the geezer 40 fucking years. Um, and it ain't about me. It's about me and my pal, our outlook on today's generation, crime, drugs, people on the street, fashion, music, a mixture of all stuff. This ain't going to be one of them two Bob gangster podcasts. I'm sick to fucking death of seeing them. It's the same boring shit. Bully boys attacking innocent fucking vulnerable people, yeah? All that uh, word of honour. What a lot of old bollocks that is, mate. But listen, I'm going to ask my pal a few questions. He's going to answer them very truthfully. Hopefully we won't get cut off because we're in the middle of Mayfair. We're just digesting our fucking beautiful lunch with all the posh dudes. We was going to cause mayhem. Do you know what? About six years ago, me and my pal were going to cause fucking mayhem in there in a nice and a funny way, not a violent and fuggerish way. It would have been a, a, a very unusual a very unusual scenario to compare what we've done today where we just had a bit of grub, black coffee and being sensible because that's what it's all about. But listen, I'm going to crack on with this and I'm going to ask my pal a few questions. He's going to speak up loud so you can hear it. Like I say, don't want to, you don't want to put his smudge on the camera because he's got his reasons for that and obviously uh, I'm not going to go into the details about that. I don't need to. That's between him and I for our ears and eyes only. What would you say... Geez, what I mean, you're a man that's I say this in a respectful way, Gov. You're a man that's obviously had an addiction with coke and bits and pieces yourself over the years. Probably you've got more knowledge than I am about it, to be honest, and I say that in a respectful way. But what would you say that your recollection of taking cocaine in particular, what did what did it what did it do for you and how did it make you feel, Gaze? Right, uh, it didn't make me feel speak up top of the world. So what you're saying is, look, for people listening, obviously we're not we're, we're not we're not glamorising the drug. This is no. going to be this this is this is a genuine conversation between two two yeah, people. Yeah, you can't glamorise it because in here you just get bored of it. I got bored of it, right? And that lifestyle of it makes you talk crap. And, you, know, you wake up in the morning feeling rough. That's what it done to me, and I just stopped it. But you feel dingy. You feel paranoid. You think people are looking at you. Fucking hell, like, you know, yeah. So it's a mind drug. In the end, I got bored of it, so I just stopped it completely. I mean, the thing is, guys, I mean, we, we, you know, obviously I'm from, obviously people are going to know this, I'm from East London, my mate's from a...